Hey everybody, I'm Ryan Lewick, and welcome back to another coin collecting video. So this week, I'm going to be doing kind of a new series. It's going to be kind of the history of a certain type of coin. So this week is the penny, but um, I'm actually splitting the history of the penny up into two different groups. There's the large cents, and then there's the small cents. There's the large cents. They're completely different from the small cents. And so, um, maybe I'll do like a, uh, like a double video, kind of going over both, if um, if you if you guys want me to. And so, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So, first of all, large cents, they're pretty much the original cent currency. Uh, the small cents came after that, and the small cent is the regular cent that we know today. And so, so they're changing the small cent, and they're about the size of a half dollar, and that made them very large and inconvenient. And so, they're for produced from 1793 to 1857. So, yep. So now we got the uh, following hair side for her hair scent first. And so the coins minted were 99,456. It was minted only in 1793. And so it's actually unknown who designed this coin. That's um, not too surprising considering it was that long ago. Um, it weighs 13.48 grams. It has a diameter of 26 to 27 millimeters. It is composed of copper. The coin has a reeded edge, and the year five's production kind of obviously was uh, 1793. So that's it for that. There uh, well, you go. So here's the kind of overview of it better. Um, we've got the Liberty right here. It's got the unkempt hair, which is pretty much the main thing about this. We'll never see this again in a scent at all. So we got the date, and then we actually got one out of 100 right here. That's uh, that's never on any other large scents, I think. Or it might be on the next one, but yeah, we'll see. And then we got the laurel wreath around one cent, which is also pretty much always been on the penny. And then the United States of America. This is before the E Pluribus Unum. The kind of thing to put on coins. So we got, and then um, it had two different subtypes. There's the chain reverse, which is not this one, and the wreath reverse, which is this kind. And then the chain reverse had a chain instead of a laurel wreath. And so that was the only penny I think that ever had a, a reverse that without um, the laurel wreath, the chain subtype. And so, most of these cost over $5,000 because they're really old, and, so, and there's not very many of them since there are only, what, 99,000 made? And that was all in uh, 1793, so, yeah. So, you got the next one, that's the Liberty Cap Cent. There are 1,577,381 coins minted. And they were mentioned 1793 through 1796. This, so this one is three years. It's a little bit longer. It was designed by Henry Voigt. Uh, hopefully I pronounced that right. But um, it weighs 13.48 grams, which is pretty much going to be the standard, it looks like. It's got a diameter of 29 millimeters, which is a little bit bigger than the last one. And it's composed of copper. And the coin has a lettered edge, actually. And then the year of highest production was 1794. And it had 918,521 minted. And so now we go over here. So you can see this is already a lot different. Especially with the hair. So this time we've got the hair with a bow. And um, yeah, there's Liberty and the Date and the regular opera stuff. And then pretty much the exact same obverse. You see it does still have the 1 out of 100. I signify that it's 1 cent. 1 one hundredth of a dollar. And uh. Yeah, this, this one actually costs um, between one hundred and six thousand dollars, so this one is quite definitely a lot more affordable, especially, especially the lowest prices are around one hundred dollars. And so, this one also had multiple subtypes, I'm not really going to go into those, but yeah, I did. And so, next we have the Drips Bus Scent. Uh, this one is a really popular one, actually, and um, there are sixteen million minted, about... Uh, it was minted from 1796 to 1807, and it was designed by Robert Scott. He's another of the major designers of the scent, the large scents. 
It weighs 10.89 grams. This one weighs a lot less. It has a diameter of 29 milliliters. It's composed of copper. The coin has a gripped edge. It's, uh, no, it's like it's kind of like the reeded edge, except the uh, kind of little bars are a lot wider apart. There's not as many of them. And then the year of highest production was 1802. That had 3,435,100 minted. So now we go on to here. You can see it's still pretty similar. It's just the main thing that always changes with these is the uh, bust. And this time it's got it's still got the hair of the bow except it's a lot different. And then pretty much all the same stuff. And this one will usually cost between sixty five to just a few hundred, it kinda depends. And so um yeah, this one is even more afford affordable than the Liberty Cap. And so now we've got the classic head scent. There are three million five hundred twenty seven thousand eight hundred fifty five minted. Is minted from eighteen oh eight to eighteen fourteen. It is desi designed by John Rake. It weighs ten point eight nine grams and it has a diameter of twenty nine milliliters. It's composed of copper and it has a plain edge this time. So each of these coins so far has had a different uh, edge type. And so, and then the years, year of highest production was 1810, with uh, 1,458,500 minted. So now we've got an overview of it. This time, there's a lot of differences. This is kind of a pretty big upgrade. Um, um, the reverse is pretty much the same, although the 1 over 100 is gone. And then we have a lot of improvements over here. So the, it's facing left this time. That's a major difference. And it's going to stay like that for um, the rest of the time of the large sense. Uh, you'll have to see about the small sense, though, in the next uh, History of Penny video. And so we got 13 stars for the regional states. It was the first time it ever appeared, I think, which is in um, the first year that it was minted. We got the especially different hairstyle. We got the headband, and this is also one of the first times that the headband has appeared. And so, that's a pretty big hair difference. And that's pretty much it for that. It does cost um, at least usually at least two hundred dollars because this one's also a very popular one. And so there's three million twelve hundred thousand minted. So yeah. And so now we've got the Liberty head sent. This one. The coins minted are unavailable, so let me go ahead and explain about the next few cents. So all of these were between 1816 and 1857, which was in the uh, last ones were minted, I think. Yep. And so, um, yeah, they were they were all kind of mixed together and kind of and kind of confusing. But I'll go through each main type of them. And so it's unknown who designed it, but um, it weighs 10.89 grams, the standard diameter copper, and um, it's got a plain edge. So the year's i 5 prediction was unknown. Yeah, I don't know the minted coins. So here it is, here's the basic one. Here's 1836 right there. And um, I got the headband with Liberty again. This time it's a lot more detailed. We've got the headband and then the bun right there. And we still got the 13 stars. And then, same reverse. The reverse has pretty much stayed the same the entire video. Pretty much all the word sense. And so now we've got the matron head scent. This one, uh, there are 62,369,201 minted. Which is a really big step up compared to the, well, like, 3,500,000 with the uh, jerked bust, or classic head. And so, it's minted from 1816 to 1839. Is designed by Robert Scott and or John Reich. They either both contributed or one of them designed it. It's just unknown. And it weighs 10.89 grams. All of that standard stuff. Still got the plain edge. And the year's uh, highest production was 1838 with 6,370,200 minted. So here it is. You can see a few differences between, um, between that and the last one. There's still the 13 stars, the headband, although um, the uh, character 
it's actually different. And so that's going to be the main differences on these last few uh, synths. And so, yeah, you'll notice them pretty well. And still the same reverse. This one will usually cost around 20 to $800. So, yeah. It just depends on how good it looks and what all's happened to it. And so, yeah, not many any more of them. So, the next one is the braided hair scent, you can see. And there's 70,000, 70,916,893 meds. This is from 1839 through 1857. And this one was designed by Robert Scott. And you know, all those same details. And then the year of highest production was 1851 with 9,889,707 minted. And you, you can see as um, as more and more things get minted, as, I mean, as more and more time goes on, the uh, mintages are getting higher because the technology for minting coins is getting better. So now here we go. This one has definitely a different character, although many of the same stuff on the outside. It's just mainly the character changing throughout the um, throughout the different types. So it's kind of a they're all kind of types of liberty heads, kind of. And so and then the same reverse. And this one will usually cost twenty to seven hundred twenty dollars, pretty much the same as the matron head. And so. Here we go, we got the resources, um, I decided I'm gonna start putting, like, actual citations in the descriptions of videos, and so, uh, I don't get, um, copyrighted or anything, I don't want to plagiarize, and so, yeah, there you go, I'm gonna put that in the description, and then, so yeah, some, a lot of things have changed a lot on the sense, but others didn't change very much, specifically the reverse. The reverse really didn't change at all, except for taking off the uh, the one out of one hundred thing, and then only the obverse ever changed, and that was pretty much only going to the thirteen stars, and then always the character changes, uh, different um, portrayals of liberty, and the hair always with the hair, and so that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching. Um, it means a lot, and if you liked it and think maybe you have a friend who would like it too, you could share it with them and subscribe and all of that. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.